Hey guys, what's up? Here with the Lime Rain Jailbreak. It actually came out today, Saturday, before the Green Poison. So, um, here we go. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, this is Lime Rain, six months in the making. This supports iPhone 3GS, both boot ROMs, iPod Touch 3G, iPad, iPhone 4, and iPod Touch 4G. Okay? Um, this is not going to support the second generation iPod Touch or the iPhone 3G and then other devices that aren't supported. This is 4.0 to 4.1 and beyond, unpatchable, untethered, uh, released today to get the Chronic Dev team to do the right thing. They don't know what that's supposed to mean. Um, brought to you by GeoHot, Mac and Linux, coming soon. This is Windows only. It's not a one-click. It is still in beta, so uh, let's go ahead and download it. So, um, we'll see what happens. I mean, um, I actually was planning on using uh, Green Poison, but it looks like, you know, uh, Lime Rain, Geohot, you know, we'll see what happens. So, I got my iPhone 4 plugged in, and we are ready to go. Um, here we go. Lime Rain. You can just press make it rain. I just I just clicked it. I didn't actually mean to do that, but I just clicked it. Got the Apple logo. Connect to iTunes. Hold, and right here it says hold home and power. So I'm going to do that. Okay. Release power button. So I did it wrong the first time and thankfully GeoHot uh, made this for people that do mess up on these kind of things. Okay, and I've still got the home button. It's not working, so I'm going to unplug it, replug it. This is called shaking the jailbreak. We'll see how that's going to work. It looks like something happened. And iTunes, we do not need that open. Okay, right now it says it's in DFU mode just to wait. Whilst doing that, I'm going to close down iTunes. And we got this little message. Um, untethered thanks to Comex. And it, yeah, if you paid for it, then ouch. Okay, and it says done. So, uh, looks like I'm just going to have to power it on. Yep, so I'm just going to power it on. And I can just unplug. And let's see what all we got. Last time with uh, Black Rain, we actually got um, the Black Rain app. So, kind of curious to see what we're going to get this time. Oh, um, guys, please stay tuned for the green poison. Um, some of you guys, here we go. Lime rain. It doesn't even have an icon. That's that's awesome. So you just click on it. We got that looks like the black rain. Okay. So here we go. It's Monopoly for a reason. Nothing else to install right now. It is in beta mode. Here we go. Downloading Cydia. And guys, you are now jailbroken. So guys, thanks for watching this tutorial. Um, if this helped you, please go ahead and thumbs up and subscribe. And um, if you have any problems, please go ahead and leave a comment. Um, this thing is open to a lot of problems. I can already see that. Um, I can see a lot of people having major problems. I know I, I had some myself. Um, also, if you want to see the green poison exploit, go ahead and wait till tomorrow. And, um, you know... GeoHot just mixed up a lot of things, I believe, for the Chronic Dev team. He actually mentioned that on the website. So, uh, we, you know, we'll see what happens. I don't think this is the Shatter exploit. But, you know what? I mean, this is untethered, unpatchable, and it's supposed to work for 4.1.
I mean 4.0 and beyond. So now she's unpacking Cydia. And uh, let's see. We should get a Cydia. I do not see it. Maybe it's. See. Oh. oh my goodness. I'm going to have to take this off. Cydia, it's not. I do not see. A Cydia. Okay, it just has to unpack it again. I'm just going to try rebooting. And move this thing over. So, as you can see, Lime Rain has some frayed edges. But we'll see. Um, as you can see, he actually did say some people need to restart to get Cydia to show up after installing. So that that's all that was happening. So now we do have Cydia. Oh, and here is the it actually shows the icon. So guys, thanks for watching, and see you later.